It's coding time with Coding Cleverly. Today's video is going to be very special. We're going to be discussing about abstract data types. And the first abstract data type we're going to be going over is the one and only linked list. So before ha jumping into this video, I want you to smash that subscribe button. And while you're at it, also check out our other data structures and algorithms videos, as well as object oriented programming and also programming fundamentals. Okay, so what is a linked list? Okay, now a linked list in computer science is a linear collection of data elements whose order is not given by their physical placement in memory. So it's basically a linear collection, um, but it's different to arrays that we've discussed. And we know that arrays were in like contiguous memory locations side by side, and they had physical placement in memory. But these are who have uh, whose order is not given uh, and they're just randomly scattered throughout the whole memory instead each element points to the next in a data structure consisting of collection of nodes which together represent a sequence so you have a node and then it points to another node and then that node points to another node and that node points to another node and so on so what a link list whose node contains two fields one is an integer value and you don't necessarily have to have an integer you could have um, a different data type as like strings or like a flow or a double or you can have a character or you can have a like a separate class inside of a linked list as well okay and a link to the next node now link to the next node means like a pointer that points to a next node and the last node is linked to a terminator now terminator is like a null so basically it's pointing to null it used to signify the end of the list so it's going to start with a pointer as well you could create a head and then the end and then there are different types of linked lists to discuss and the first one we're going to be discussing in today's video is going to be about singly linked lists and then there's going to be doubly linked list multiply a uh, multiply linked list whatever it is um but the one we're going to be doing is singly linked list so before getting started let's go and understand how this works so basically if i'm talking about linked list I'm gonna have something like over here. So let me get a brush. And we have this node, which is a circle. All right, we're gonna represent it through a circle. It's gonna have some kind of value. So we're gonna have like a value two inside of it. Now, the thing is that a linked list is scattered throughout the memory and it's not like stored like arrays. So it has like, this is portion has two. So it's in some kind of address. We have a specified address, which is in hexadecimal. So we're just gonna put some kind of random numbers in here. And now what happens is that um, there is a pointer that points to this location so that we don't get lost, we know how to start. So this is the head pointers. So we have this head pointer, which is right here, which starts from the beginning. And it goes till here, and then there's another node over here which is points to so let's say a value of three is on here then that pointer points to a next node so it has some kind of four over here and then that node points to a next node and then that points let's say five over here and then this one should be the last one so it's going to point to a null so it's just going to point to something called null and then that indicates that the list is finished. So this is our linked list, similar, just four nodes inside of it. There's a head pointer, there's a null pointer over here. So yeah, and it just points. So this is like 0x25, we could have 0x uh, something like, um, let's say three, nine, because it's not together. Remember, they're just separated out. We just made it in a graphical representation that they're together. But in reality, they could be in any portion of the computer memory, it could be anywhere. Okay, so now let's go in our Visual Studio code and let's type along the implementation of how we could do this. Now, there are different ways to implement a linked list. Uh, you would see some places that they, they start with structs uh, and they can construct a linked list through a struct. And then in some cases, we'd have a class and they could prepare a linked list through a class. Now, in n cases, they're all pro uh, possible, but we're gonna stick with classes. So let's just start with uh, including our IO stream. And then we're gonna namespace standard. And right after that, let's create an integer main. So this is basic, basically stub code, what we always uh, include, boilerplate code. Right after this, uh, we're gonna have to put this in the bottom portion. Over here, let's create a class. The class is called linked list and what the class is going to do is going to consist of a private and it's also going to consist of a public section so in the private section we're going to have a class inside of a class so this is a linked list class now inside of this is going to be a class and that's going to be called list node class and the list node class is going to have 
another like private and public. So in this case, we know by default it's private, but in public, when we specify it, we're gonna have some kind of elements. The first element what we have to contain is data. What we're gonna store, like a integer or a, a float or a double or whatever we want. A string could be anything. And then the next is basically the pointer that we're talking about. And then how do we do this is basically, we're gonna have it as the name of the type, so it's list node. We're gonna say pointer to list node, and we're gonna have uh, the value which is called pointer to list node, which is a pointer, and it's gonna have the name as next. Right after that, now let's create a constructor. The constructor is really simple. When we have it over here in the public section, we could call it as list node, the name of the class, and then inside of it, let's create a data inside. So this is gonna put inside a data. That data is gonna be assigned to the data which is on top. So basically over here is gonna be data is equal to D. And what else is gonna be is that the next pointer, right, is gonna equal to null. Now, this is by default how it's gonna be created. Right after that, you can see that this class is finished, so we just end it with a semicolon. That's important. And now, we over here, we need a head for the linked list. Remember, like I told you the structure how to do this. So, uh, we could just say list node, and again, this is a pointer, and we just call it as a head, and just semicolon right here at the end. So that's our head, and now we implemented that. So now in the public section, let's come over here. And, okay, so in the public section of this thing which is linked list class the parent class we have this semicolon at the end because it's a class so i'm just going to move this a little over here okay in the public section the first thing that we could come up with is a constructor a default constructor now a linked list constructor is going to be have it's going to say let's say linked list and it's going to have nothing inside of it and what it does is by default the head is always going to be in there so we're just going to set that head to null by default Right after that, let's create a destructor while we're at it. So linked list, um, and let's, let's give a same thing. Now you could just implement this by yourself. So I'll leave this up to you. Now you could do anything inside of it. Um, you could do C out, whatever, indicating that the, um, the list is destroyed or whatever, but I'm gonna leave it up to you, whatever you wanna do with the implementation for the destructor. Right after that, now let's create some functionalities to the linked list. Now, if I go back into my diagram, what I was showed you, now look at this. Now we have a linked list, right? And it does some kind of random stuff. So what we wanna add is a functionality that instead of having null over here at the end, right? We don't want null. We wanna append some kind of other um, node inside of it. So how do I append another node and append another node and append another node at the end of it and then just have the last one as n null. So that's pretty simple. It's just the basic logic and I'll show you how to do this. So uh, we're going to do this through um, a very simple while loop and we're going to create a temporary pointer that's going to traverse through the linked list. So like we have this head, right? So we're going to create another pointer which is a temporary pointer. And that's going to traverse through like this. It's going to go from here. It's going to go 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 here. It's going to find that location where it says null. So if the next is null, it's going to stop over there. And it's going to say, okay, now right after this, it's going to create. Now you're not understanding over here properly, but uh, let me write the code and then you might understand it much better. So let's write the code for this append function. So the return type is basically void. And it's going to be called append. And... The thing inside of it is that we're gonna have to create a data because uh, the person's gonna give a data and we want that appended at the end of the list. So now in this particular case, if the head is null, remember, suppose that we just have nothing inside of it, no node, uh, and we just have a, an empty linked list. What's gonna happen is that it's gonna append right after it. So what we could say is head and we say new list node and we could just put the data inside of this. Now. What does this mean? And then after that, I just return the function. I mean, you cl close the function over here. Now I'll tell you what it means over here. We have this list node D. Now if I go over here, we have a constructor list node and then it's gonna put the value inside. It's gonna sign it with the data and it's gonna equal the next to null. So basically we're just gonna have one linked list, uh, one single list node um, inside of a linked list. And that's it. But if a case happens is that we have uh, nodes inside of a present linked list, then what kind of condition we could do? Then we could just basically, what I told you, is basically have a temporary list node, and what we're gonna assign it with is the head pointer. So we're gonna have that, 
whatever the uh, head is pointing to is going to be pointing the same thing uh, temporary is going to be pointing so head is pointing to this first uh, node so this temporary is also going to be pointing to the first node this temporary right here um, and what's going to happen is that it's going to be in traverse it's going to traverse over here it's going to traverse here it's going to traverse here it's going to find a condition we have this condition that temporary is next value if it equals to null all right we're gonna stop there we want that because we want over here this portion we want over here because we want to append it right after this so we locate this location because the next to this is null so we locate that and then after that we append the function by creating a new list node over here so a new list node was going to be created over here that's what we have to do this is our concept and right after that we're going to have a basic null right in here so let's get this done Inside of this code, we're going to basically implement this logic and through this, we're just going to create a list node. So if I have this list node and I say while and I say um, that temporary next, uh, yeah, so temporary next and not equal to null. So it's just going to keep on looping. So it's going to say um, the value of temp, which is temp is equal to temp is going to keep on traversing. So it's going to keep on traversing here and then what we're going to have is at the end over here is that when we reach that particular location so remember over here not equal to null and when it is null we just say temporary next so is equal to um we're going to have temporary next is equal to a uh, new list node which is and then we're going to have the value inside of it so that's basically our append function pretty simple pretty straight to the point uh, I hope you understood this one. So now after that, let's create a display function to display our content. To how, and we're just gonna basically have the return type of void. We're gonna have display over here. And it's pretty simple and uh, it, it's uh, similar to what we did with append. We have a temporary list node and we say temporary, just like that. And we start with the head, all right? And then we create a while loop. And what the while loop is going to say is that while temp not equal to null. So we, because in this case, we need the whole uh, list to be displaying. So not only the last element and after that appending, but we need entire nodes to be displayed. So we could just say temporary and then we say uh, data and then we could just console output this. So console output this data and then right here we could have end line and we're going to have console output. Uh, temporary and then we have the next pointer which is not over here actually not this but we're just gonna have it uh, traversing so it's gonna be temporary uh, next so this is gonna be implementing like this temporary is equal to temporary next just like what we did on the top so traversal and just gonna keep on seeing it and once once you reach the entire list node you're done with it right so right after that you're done Okay, now we could have additional functionality like we could erase a certain node or we could add something before a present node. But that additional functionality I could uh, implement in another video. So in this particular case, we're just going to be introducing how do we structure the list no, uh, link list, how do we add uh, the append function to add a certain element at the end of the list and to display the contents of the list node. So link list. So now let's have the main function. And inside the main function, what we're gonna do is basically create a linked list. So let's create a linked list. So let's say linked list, and let's instantiate it just like C. And now C dot append, and we're just gonna put some element at the end. So now we could say C dot append, and now another element at the end. And now C dot append, and another element at the end. And now let's just display the content. So we'd say display. And that's just gonna display it, and then we're gonna complete our code. So now I've done with my implementation here. Let me just run this code, and let's see what we could get. So let me just clear, uh, over here you can see my code is running. You have 19, 23, and 49, which is, let me just clear this and uh, run it once more. Okay, so we have this code running again. So right over here, would see the result 19 23 and 49 okay and then if i look over here 19 23 and 49 and then display it awesome we created a linked list and we also added nodes inside of it integer nodes amazing um that was pretty much it with this video 
In the next video, I'm gonna be going into further detail of the linked list. We're gonna add some additional functionality, just like uh, creating elements before. Like if we want, like if there's 19 and we want to add something before 19, like we wanna add 333 inside. So how do we do that? Let's create a different functionality for that. But if we, or if you wanna delete a certain node, like for instance, uh, I don't want 49. So how do I remove an element inside of a linked list? These kind of, uh, functionality and additional stuff we're going to be discussing in the next one and i want everyone to subscribe to the channel don't forget to like it share it and support coding cleverly and let's go let's go peace out